He was getting too old for this. Brendan sighed as he found a quiet spot in one of the club's booths where he could sip his coke and contemplate his social life, or lack thereof, as fate would have it. The club was busy enough for a Saturday evening, and he'd spotted a number of boys he'd played with before, as well as some cute-looking newbies. But he wasn't feeling it. He'd known it for a while, but tonight had made it clear. At 43, he was done playing. Weekends in the club, the occasional boy who wanted something more for a few weeks or a few months, it no longer appealed to him. He wanted a boy to call his own. Someone to wake up with and tuck into bed every night. His house was ready for it. A gorgeous room awaiting the perfect boy. But Brendan was losing hope he'd ever find him. Oh, he thought he had when he'd met Henry, but that had turned out to be nothing but heartbreak. It had made him gun-shy to even try again, and for a while, he'd stuck to quick encounters in the club. But that wasn't him, and it wasn't what he wanted. The question was, would he find what he was looking for in the club? It seemed doubtful, but where else could he meet someone who was into the same things as him? He took another sip of his Coke, then sank lower in the booth and closed his eyes for a second. These booths were perfect if you wanted a little privacy, whether for yourself or because you wanted to engage in some activities without everyone watching. Though in this club, someone was always watching. That was kind of the point. If you didn't want that, there were private rooms available. I'm sorry, Reese. A crystal clear young voice carried over from the booth next to him. I tried, I swear. I really tried. I know. Don't worry about it, someone else said, his voice a bit more hushed. Reese, Brendan assumed, since that's what the other voice had called him. The name sounded familiar, but he couldn't quite place it. 